Hi, Young Chasers. Welcome back. It's Miss Tremaine here for another G Kids Online. And so this week's lesson, we're going to be talking about how to tame our emotions. So if you can grab your Bibles, got mine here, and turn with me to Exodus chapter 17, verse 1 through 7. We're going to see what was going on with the children of Israel. And so in this story, it is labeled water from the rock. So have you ever been on a hike and forgot your water bottle? Well, I'm guilty. I definitely have done that before. And so in this story, um, the children of Israel have just left Egypt and they have their freedom now, but they're walking in the wilderness or the desert. They didn't have food in, packed with them and they didn't have water packed with them. And so at this point, they've been walking and walking and walking. They're tired, they're hungry, and most of all, they're thirsty. And so what's the first thing you do when you get hungry or thirsty? You get hangry. And when you get hangry, who do you blame it on? Your leader. And usually it's probably your parent or something like that, right? You're tired of doing whatever it is, and you start to whine, you start to act up, you're impatient, right? The children of Israel were the exact same way. They were tired, they were impatient, they were angry, they started fighting each other, and then they're yelling like, why did you give us our freedom? Why did you help us break out of Egypt only so that we could die here? So now they're really, really like depressed. Like they have all these horrible thoughts saying, well, we'd rather be back where we were before because we had food and we had water instead of thinking we have our freedom and we can wait for you to give us what we need so they they weren't trying to hear that they weren't about the waiting life they wanted what they wanted at that moment like a lot of us are right now and so as you read the story you'll see that it got so bad that moses had to go to god and say what do i do with these people they're fighting they're complaining I don't know what else to say to keep them in good spirits. How can we go on unless we give them something? And God so heard their cries and understood their hunger and their thirst that he gave Moses permission and instruction to go out with his staff and pound a rock. God decided that he would give them grace and mercifully give them everything that they were asking for in that moment in a very miraculous way miraculous miracles right and so he tells them to go in and pound the rock that gushes out all the water that they could ever need or want and so at that moment no they're no longer thirsty they have as much water as they could drink in that moment and they have no other thing than to just be quiet i'm sure moses was really excited about that and so they could enjoy their walk um, at least for a little bit because they were they were satisfied and so what, how does that relate to where we are right now? Well, I know a lot of you might be indoors getting antsy, getting grouchy, getting impatient. You don't know what tomorrow is going to look like. I don't know what tomorrow or next week or next month is going to look like either. And so we might start to complain about, I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of being in the house. I'm tired of seeing the same faces. Um, but just know that God hears your cries. He hears us, he knows what you need, and he has you in for a reason. He's safeguarding you, and he's still giving you grace, right? He's giving you mercy, and he's providing for you through it all. So know that your prayers and your complaints are being heard, and you may not get everything that you deserve, even though you are angry or mad or confused sometimes. You might get even more than what you asked for. And so how does that relate to taming your emotions, you might ask? Well, in this moment, I believe that God wants us to learn how to tame our emotions because we all have a purpose. And we have to be able to control ourselves and control our emotions so that we can work towards the purpose that he has designed for us, right? And so if we can't control our emotions, then we might not be able to handle the gifts that he has for us. So it's very important that we take this time to learn how to tame all the negative emotions 
And one thing that works for me when I want to get angry or I want to react in a way that's probably not something that God would like, is just to take a moment, pause, and change that emotion by thinking about something good. And so I do know that good always cancels out the bad. So for every negative thought that I have, I try and give myself a positive thought to cancel it, right? So if I say, oh man, I really wanna do something bad, then I gotta think about something that I already have that God has given me or that the person that might be making me angry um, has done for me or inspired me to do that is good that will cancel out that negative emotion, right? You can't stay mad at someone when you think about the good they've done for you. And that's the same thing that the children of Israel had. After God has done this miraculous thing and given them this water, they can't possibly turn their back and say, this person doesn't love me. I want to be angry with you. No, you can't really do that. It doesn't work, right? Because good always covers the bad. All right. So I'm going to pray out with you guys, but I also need your help to memorize a new verse. It's Psalms 9-2. We're going to try and memorize this verse because it says, I will praise and exalt the Lord, the Most High. And so I need to remember that. You try and remember it as well, that even in times when it's hard, let's remember to exalt him and represent our God in a mighty way because he's always hearing us, the good and the bad, even our complaints. Pray with me before we go. And also during the week, if you want to have more fun, more activities that might keep you busy and keep you from getting angry, we have some activity packets for you up at the church if your parent wants to come by and pick them up. For my G-Kids, I have some Make It Sticks and some crafts um, or craft suggestions that you can do throughout the week to um, learn the lesson. I also have the packets that went out on Easter to some of our preschoolers. They have jam-packed with activities for the week to reinforce whatever we talk about here at G Kids Online. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me. My email is tremaine at iamagodchaser.org and I can give you or your parents more information about that. Just let me know. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for another day. Thank you so much for helping us read your word and learn how you would have us to tame our emotions. We want to work towards the purpose that you have for our lives. We thank you in advance for giving us the power to do so. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you, G-Kids, and we can't wait to see you for another episode next week at G-Kids Online.